Let's say you look at the word Nisayan. So how do we translate the word Nisayan? Test. Test. So uh, what would you say are the ingredients of a test? What are the, what's the purpose, the function of a test? Sorry? Okay, we want to determine a certain, a certain result. If a person goes through a test, you want to see if they can pass the test, whether it's an academic mark that they have to score to pass the test, whether it's a high jump, they have to pass a certain height in order to uh, pass that test. What else is part of a test? Learn from it. You, you want to be able to learn from it? What's, what, what's, what's a, 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 an understandable human reaction to a test? Oh, Sorry? Oh no. oh, no. What's one way of me manifesting my oh, no? It could be a miracle if I pass it. Okay, it could be a miracle if I pass it. That, that, that's right, very good. So le let me share with you. Um, what's the two letter root of Nisayan? <laughs> nun Samach. So, as a word, what does Nun Samach mean? Banner. Banner. Uh, what else does it mean? Oh, it can also mean miracle. What else does it mean? A miracle. Oh, you have to. We have miracle. How do you say to escape or run away? La nus. Oh, and the two-letter root is nes, which means escape. Okay. What else do you see? Does it have any other meaning? Nisa. What does nisa mean? It's actually, it's actually in, in the Arcada, which we read every morning, chapter 22 of Genesis, where Avram Avinu, Nisa Hashem, elevated him. So the word Nisayon, in its two-letter root, Nes, also means to elevate. So you've got a banner, you've got elevate. Uh, what's, I'm sorry? It's, it's, uh, it's actually, uh, Nisa can be with a sin, but in, in, the, in the Chumash, chapter 22 there, you'll see it says it's with a, with a, a Samach. Yeah, and Rashi brings it, it's referring to elevation. Yeah, so, because the, one of the purposes of a test is to, elevate. is to elevate us. So the obvious question is what? In English, you've got one simple word, test. But in Hebrew, when you identify the, the root of the word, um, what you end up is with a list of one, two, three, four items. Possibly, uh, you've got Escape, Miracle, Banner. Do we have any other? And this is also? They seem totally unrelated. They seem totally unrelated. So uh, there's not much of a clue. But once we put this together and understand, if, this is, if these are the ingredients of a Nisayan, then how can we put this together? See, when, when I go through a test, uh, in what way is it a banner? What, is, what does a banner do? It signifies demonstrates. It signifies? A result. A result. In, in, the, in, in uh, the desert, we had a banner for each tribe. What was the banner doing for us? Differentiation. Differentiation. It gives you identity. It shows you the direction you're going in. Oh, so when I go through a test, when I'm being tested um, in a life test, in a marriage situation with my children, with my boss, or with my mother-in-law, what happens is that a person is being squeezed, so to speak, and what will come out is whatever's inside. That's why the Jewish people in Pasha Shmois, um, during the Shibud, the slavery, we are actually compared to the olive, because when you squeeze olive, what comes out? The oil. And what determines the quality of the oil? How hard you squeeze? No, the... What's inside? What's inside? The... Makeup. The makeup of the oil. How ripe is the olive? How mature is the olive? will decide. So when you squeeze me, what comes out is whatever's inside. And if I'm immature, then you'll get an immature response. Oh, so uh, the purpose of an Nisayan is for me to see me. It's for me to see my identity. This is the direction I'm going. Is this who I want to be? The Nisayan is, is a way for me to understand myself. But of course, I could also escape. How do I escape from a Nisayan? I could not turn up to the test. But if it's not academic, it's in the marriage or it's with this child, how do I escape? Be in denial. I'd be in denial. What's one of the ways I, I deny? It's your fault! And if I can blame you, not you personally, but if I can accuse you or blame you or complain that it's all your problem and deny that it's anything to do with me or give excuses why it's not my fault, then have I essentially escaped from looking at myself? 
Oh, so I could, I could see myself with this direction I'm going in with my cast, with my jealousy, or whatever it is that I'm tested by, or I can escape. Um, how can I elevate myself? By, by succeeding in the test. Yeah, when a person sets a, a standard, no, this is a food I will not eat, this is a food I will, but uh, this amount of, and then we control ourselves. How do we feel afterwards? We feel elevated. Oh, because, because much of a Nisayan is to test my inside. What, what am I capable of demonstrating of my inner strength? Is this making sense? So the miracle part, that's, that might be uh, an easier part to identify. What's the miracle part of it? Okay, I, I can't believe I passed it. Excellent. What's the greatest miracle in human history? The Amsuf. Splitting of the Amsuf, that would be amazing. What is H2O and uh, really should not be doing this? And it splits into two parts or 12, 12 tunnels. That's amazing. Yamsuf? Uh, Chris Yamsuf would be absolutely remarkable. Yeah. Any of the Marques, the, uh, the creation of the universe. So from, from our perspective, that's a human definition of a miracle. Because God, you, you've taken your laws of nature and you changed them. That's a miracle from our perspective. Now let's look at Lashon HaKadosh as God's language. What would be the definition, in God's mind, so to speak, of a miracle? Somebody overcoming the nature. Oh, excellent. When God says, oh my gosh, you changed your nature. That is God's definition of a miracle. Our definition is when God manipulates nature. But when we change ourselves... That's not easy. So that's, so that's contained inside the word Nisayan. So this is one of my favorites where you, you can see that when you break the word down to its shurish and ask yourself, okay, what does the shurish mean? Because almost inevitably every shurish, every three-letter root word in Hebrew has several meanings. But you're not looking at separate meanings. You're looking at the different ingredients of the same identity of the original word. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.